We're very excited today because there's been a box discovered that has some materials left in that we're going to begin to explore. This is apparently 50 years ago. So we'll open and have a look. There seems to be an awful lot of cards and a series of envelopes and yes. they look like they connect. I would guess from some of these statements that they will be used in teacher education. I'm assuming, just as our uh, initial teacher education students uh, have to do, these students would have had to have gone in for placements in schools. Yeah. So probably they're discussing these statements in the light of their experiences yeah. in those schools. Yeah, we do kind of use a lot of activities that are very similar with our student teachers today. The statements are interesting though. Yeah. In my school there are a lot of high sounding goals talked about by the administration which aren't really practiced. Mm. Which I think is actually quite interesting because a lot of what we do in education at the moment involves targets and testing and that seems to be something that was kind of prevalent in the 1960s in San Francisco as yeah, well. So, yeah. so the debate is kind of continuing really. It's something that we wouldn't even be discussing now would be this. In my school, it is understood that it is sometimes necessary to use physical punishment mm. with some children. We do not have corporal punishment mm. in schools. Mm. However, there's still a lot of debate around how you manage behaviour. Mm. And I mean, I'm just thinking about what's in uh, the media at the moment mm. around the use of isolation rooms in mm. schools. Missing, or what's different, mm -hmm is the types of schools that we're working in, the diversity yeah, of the yeah. pupil intake, yeah. and how we view that as a positive, yes, but how we address mm -hmm. um, meeting student needs and um, yeah. ensuring that all mm -hmm. students of whatever background mm -hmm. receive the education that they're yeah. entitled yeah. to and we would want them to yeah. have. The schools that we actually represent yes. are very diverse. And the student them. teachers who come to us, they come from a, an mm. amazingly diverse set mm -hmm. of backgrounds mm -hmm. as well. We do a lot of work with our student teachers before they go into school about what are their values already and that helps you to understand the, the pupils in your class mm. come to your classroom with different expectations. Mm. Uh, they don't come as a blank yeah. slate, yeah. they come with knowledge. Mm -hmm. So working with student teachers, it's really important to get them to explore mm. what their values, what their opinions mm. are about education. Mm. What's interesting about this as well is how many of the issues are still very, very current. Yes. The challenges that the person that kind of put the boxes together were experiencing are not that different from the experiences that the student teachers bring to us. Mm. You know, the idea about teachers that are exhausted on a Friday. Yes. <laughs> we tell our students that very much with education, if there was a magic bullet that answered all of the, the problems that they're going to face when they're in school, we'd be doing it. And the fact that this conversation has been going on since 1968, 1969, actually indicates that it's probably a lot more complex than just saying, this is how we sort it out. And that discussion, it's actually a really interesting thing to be part of.